question three, you've got an exponential decay question. We've been given the formula here, and we're asked in part one just to finish this formula, because at the moment it was placed down, so when T was equal to zero, the temperature of the cup of tea was actually 75 degrees. So if we put this into the formula, 75 equals 25 plus A e to the zero. Take away the 25, you can see that A is going to be 50 there. So I'd write out the complete formula now, uh, just with the 50 in it there. Now use your model to find time taken down to 60 degrees. So I'm now going to put the 60 degrees where the theta is. So 60 equals 25 plus 50 e to the minus 0.03 t. Take away the 25, divide by 50. So I've got 35 over 50 equals e to the minus 0.03. Get rid of the e by learning and then dividing by the minus 0.03. It gives me that T is equal to 1.889, um, but it says to one decimal place. So T is 11.9 minutes. Nice couple of questions to be submitted. Two hours after the cup of tea was placed on the table, it was measured at 20.3. So let's see what happens at two hours. What should it have been? Let's throw two hours into our formula. Of course, two hours is 120 minutes, and tapping that into the 120 minutes gives us that theta, it should actually have been, according to the model, uh, 26.4 degrees. But actually, it was actually 20.3 degrees. So the model is less good. Not working at this stage. And that's just because we've left it for so long that the errors are going to creep in. So the model's not correct at that stage. 